Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Gavin Fish. Today, we are continuing our look at the victims and possible victims of the Zodiac Killer as we commemorate the solving of the 340 Cipher. In this episode, I'm going to cover two cases that aren't on their face connected. What I mean to say is that it doesn't appear that the victims knew each other, but the crimes are similar. In addition to that, it's very hard to find very much information on either crime, so I'm doing them together. January 5th, 1966. Kathleen Kirchgesner, a 38-year-old bank employee living in San Francisco, didn't show up for work. She was only described in newspapers as a divorcee that was 35 to 40 years old. I had to do a genealogical search to find her date of birth, which was December 24th, 1927, in order to know her actual age. I have to say, in an era of the Zodiac Killer where every victim was described in great detail, I'm surprised that only about six paragraphs from two news articles, one of which was an AP Wire summary, were ever written about Kathleen. Perhaps it's because it was two years previous to the first known Zodiac kill, but there was a lot of violent crime happening. It's just surprising to me. Anyway, on January 5th, 1966, Kathleen Kirchgesner didn't show up for work at either the Bank of America, as it's reported in the San Mateo Times, or Bank of California, as it's reported in the Oakland Tribune. Not showing up for work must have been out of the ordinary for Kathleen, or it was a time when people were generally on edge about crimes against women, so the bank sent a guard to Kathleen's home to check on her. The guard was led into the apartment by the property manager. Upon entering the apartment, the pair discovered Kathleen fully clothed, gagged, lying on a kitchen floor with a pair of scissors protruding from the left side of her chest. The police said at the time of the discovery that they weren't sure if she had been slain or had committed suicide. She had been stabbed once in the neck and five times in the chest. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and just say that a gagged woman found with six stab wounds didn't commit suicide. And that's it on the reporting of the death of Kathleen Kirchgesner, which I think is just grossly unfair. So let me tell you a few things that I learned about her when searching for her on Ancestry.com. Kathleen was born in Everett, Washington on Christmas Eve, 1927. She graduated from Snohomish High School in nearby Snohomish, Washington, where her nickname was Kitty. She was in the Honor Society, the Library Club, the String Quartet, Wood Carving, Glee Club, and Photography Club. And that's all I know about Kathleen Kirchgesner. I'm hoping that somebody who knew her might reach out to me and tell me a little more. Okay, so we have the terrible and violent murder of Kathleen Kirchgesner which happened on January 5th, 1966 in San Francisco. Then on Wednesday, March 15th, 19 year old Martha Marie Smith appeared to be kneeling next to her bed as if in prayer when her mother found her dead in her apartment. Martha hadn't shown up for work at Levi Strauss and her parents hadn't heard from her since the previous Sunday. Martha had her pajama top pulled up around her arms when she was found. Her hands were bound with a pillowcase and her feet were bound with a pair of men's pajama bottoms. There were 35 to 40 stab and slash wounds on her chest and abdomen. She had taken a beating to the face. The coroner thought she was likely unconscious when she died of the three stab wounds that penetrated her heart. The coroner thought she likely died the previous Sunday, March 12th. 
Police believed her killer to be somebody she likely knew. Investigators didn't find signs of a struggle. In fact, the book she was reading was carefully laid open on a chair near her bed, and her hair was up in curlers. A friend had been in Martha's apartment the day she died. The two had dinner together. When Martha was found, the dinner dishes hadn't been washed and the radio was still playing. This told police the killer was likely waiting for the friend to leave, perhaps stalking her nearby. Neither the murder of Kathleen Kirch Gessner nor Martha Smith, both of whom were killed in their San Francisco apartments, were covered in the paper past March 17, 1966. Neither crime has been solved that I can find. So why include these in my list of could-be Zodiac killer victims? For me, I think it fits the M.O. of the Zodiac stabbing Cecilia Shepard and Brian Hartnell, though it happened more than three years earlier. It also happened in the San Francisco Bay Area. Could it be that the Zodiac Killer was getting warmed up? I mean, Sherry Jo Bates was brutally stabbed to death in October of that same year. Whether it was the same killer, different killers, or the Zodiac Killer, the murders of Kathleen Kirch Gessner and Martha Marie Smith remain unsolved. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below.